Hey everybody, Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride coming at you. And today we're going to talk about um, camp system, cook systems. Now, this video was inspired by the Outdoor Gear channel, um, Luke. Uh, he's a good guy. If you don't know, uh, do a, a YouTube search for Outdoor Gear Review. The guy's name is Luke. Now, um, he talked about two systems. He talked about the Stanley Adventure Set and the Stanley Adventure Set Two Bowl System. And I, and I just so happen to have both those systems. Um, and I've used them on numerous trips uh, for motor camping. Uh, some trips I, I videotaped, and some of the trips that I did tape you'll see that I've used that these both those systems, the Stanley Adventure Set and the Stanley Adventure Set 2, both systems, I've used them a lot. As a matter of fact, I take those two systems every time I can. Uh, I find them to be compact, but very, very useful. It's a simple system. I have a large uh, cast iron eight inch frying pan that I use. I have several stoves that I use. I have the Coleman Pink One, I have the MSR2, I have um, the Chinese Firebox, I have the Yuko Fire Pit slash Grill. So in conjunction with the Stanley uh, Adventure Cook Spot systems, be it the uh, two cup version or the two bowl version, I generally take those everywhere I go. And sometimes in certain situations, that's all I use, that's more than enough but you always add your accessories. I have a, um, a, a GSI titanium spoon, and that particular spoon is a spork spoon, and it's a long handle spoon, and I think it's probably made in one factory and different companies purchase so many and put their own name on it. But today we're gonna focus on the Stanley Adventure Set and the Stanley Adventure Set two bowl system. Okay, so let's get into the whole system and how I carry it. This is a Canon camera bag. Like I say, I bought it at the Salvation Army, and um, this is where I keep the systems. Now, this is the Stanley two bowl system. And this is the Stanley two cup system. And this is my camera bag. And, and I don't know if you can see this, but up in here is where I keep all my silverware. And I keep olive oil. There's a lot of keep, uh, I keep uh, a cutting board. And down here on this side, I have salt and pepper and um, garlic salt, garlic powder. And those, these are, the, these are the things I use mainly, okay? So we'll get this bag out of the shop. And we'll concentrate on the cook system. So now, the cook systems, I, they're, they're simple. They're very, very simple, but they're very, very useful. So we'll start with the Stanley uh, Adventure Set 2 Cup. We'll open this up. Now, people, you guys are probably tired of hearing about this little pull tab. I don't have a problem with this pull tab because I always keep it up. You know, I've set this thing directly in fire, as you can see. I, I, you know, and I don't have a problem with it. I don't need to put a keychain uh, ring on it. I just simply am very careful with this little pull tab. If you leave it up, you don't have any problem. All right, now, I do have a GSI uh, cup 
but we'll talk about this later on. Today, we're talking strictly about the Stanley system. Um, so you take it off, there's your top. Now, the top has steam holes, and they also have uh, holes that when you, you wanna drain the water out. And then these are your two cups. And these are plastic nylon cups, but they have ceramic on the inside. And these cups stay very, very, very warm. If you put something in there, um, in there hot, it's gonna stay hot. If you put something in there cold, it's gonna stay cold. So this is the Stanley Cook Pot. Now, I only use this for water. I, I don't put food directly into this pot. This is only for water, for making coffee or tea or hot chocolate, or if I wanna hydrate a uh, dehydrated food pack. That's what this cup is used for, and it is phenomenal for that. And I paid $15 for it, and you can see it's very, very well used. Like I said, I've put this directly into fire. I have no problem. Um, it's, it's lightweight, but it might not be um, lightweight for uh, hikers, those who are serious about their hiking. I don't know if they would use this. Uh, they might use more of a titanium type deal, but for those hikers that are just, you know, general hikers, you know, this is a good system. It's a, it's a very good system. You can't go wrong with it. Um, the cups nestle in the, in the uh, pot itself. And you put the top on it, close it back up, and then you slide this, you slide this bar down, and it locks it. This thing is not coming up. It's a I mean, it's just a really great system, like I said. And I've had this for two years. Now, the Adventure Tool Bowl Pot Set. Once again, this, it's a little dirty. Sorry about that, because I just came from uh, Mills Run when I motor camped at uh, Frank Lloyd Wright's uh, Falling Waterhouse. And I just pulled it out of the camper, so I didn't really get a chance to wash it. Once again, it has uh, steam holes and drain holes uh, for pouring out the water and letting out the steam. You can steam some stuff in here. Uh, it, once again, it has the pull tab. Like I say, this pot system is two years old and I have not, it hasn't even begun to warp. It doesn't warp, I haven't, I just take care of my stuff and use common sense. I, like I say, I don't wanna put a keychain on this because if you put a keychain on this, it's gonna flop around, right? It's gonna lay flat. And when you got this in fire, man, that thing, that, that little keychain will get, uh, will get really, really hot. So just leave it up. You know, it's no big deal. And as you see, once again, you can see that I really use this pot. I sit it directly in the fire, I sit it on grills, and I have no problem with it. Now, when you open this baby up, you'll get the top and you'll get two bowls. Let's put this out of the way and concentrate on the bowls. You'll get two bowls. Once again, it's a plastic nylon and there it's ceramic inside of it that keeps things really, really, uh, really really warm or really really cold and you have a pouring spout right here uh, if you want to if you want to pour things out now they did come with two lids that I don't use because they say you can use it as a cutting board I don't need that this is the cutting board that I use and it fits in that camera bag it's a bigger surface, so I don't worry about the two little lids that they, that, that they say you can use as a cutting board. I mean, I've had soup in here, I've had cereal in here, oatmeal, full meals, you know, beef stew. They are phenomenal. Now, the pot itself, um, all your measurements are on the outside of the pot, and it goes from up to 40 ounces. This holds up to 40 ounces. And once again, it has the locking handle. And once again, um, I've sat this directly into the fire and I, it's a great system. So um, in conjunction with, like I say, a, a large frying pan and uh, now, oh, one more thing, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get all this out. It did come with a ladle and a spatula. Now, I've never used the ladle to the point where I don't even know where the ladle is at. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you where the ladle is at. But I do use the spatula, and I, I just don't have it in the kit. It's probably in the trailer. Um, 
I find that spatula to be very, very useful. Um, for when I, when I fry eggs and bacon in the morning, I flip my eggs and flipping hamburgers either on the grill um, or I also have a Coleman two burner stove, so I do use it. Now, this set was $35. Um, you could buy a, a Billy can set. Uh, they call them Billy cans that are bigger and you can get some smaller. But for me and the way I camp, these two pieces right here is all I need. I mean, it's, it's a perfect set. You know, even if I don't carry my frying pan, my cast iron frying pan, this will suffice on any camp I use. Whether it's a minimalistic camp or if it's an all out two week camp, this system, along with some other accessories like maybe a plate, I have some Snow Peak stainless steel plates uh, that I use, but really, with these two pieces right here, this is all anybody needs to to have to do a complete trip. You know, some days I've gone out and done a one bag trip and this is always in it. In conjunction with an ice box, a chair, uh, and I will show you this. I do have the Coleman Peak One furnace, but like I say, I also have the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. So, I mean, and they fit nicely on there. I'm, you know, I'm not gonna set it up, I, I don't, you know, fits nicely on there, not a problem. They fit really nicely on these stoves, not a problem. So, once again, this um, small overlook of the Stanley system was inspired by the Outdoor Gear Review and the host, his name is Luke. Um, He's a fantastic guy, he's an experienced guy. He's been on YouTube, I know, oh, I think over five, six years. He's got a lot of videos. So if you guys have any, um, if you guys have a need to know about outdoor gear, check out the Outdoor Gear Review with Luke. He's a very knowledgeable person and he can steer you in the way. All right, this has been a short video on the Stanley Cookpot systems that I combined together to make one system. That's the Adventure Cup cook pot with two cups and the Adventure cook pot with two bowls and accessories. So um, I got this off of Amazon. I, I'm sorry, I don't have a link to it, but you can, you can just uh, Amazon, do an Amazon search on uh, uh, Stanley Outdoor Cooking Equipment and these two will definitely pop up. 14 bucks, 35 bucks, you can't go wrong under 100 bucks, lightweight, good for camping, um, no matter how extreme you wanna be.